Oscar-winning actor Dustin Hoffman has apologized after allegedly sexual harassing a teenage intern on a film set more than 30 years ago. The two-time Academy Award winner, known for a host of roles including The Graduate, Tootsie and Rainman, was accused of sexually harassing a 17-year-old intern on a movie set in 1985. Hoffman, now 80, apologized in a statement late Wednesday, saying he felt terrible that anything I might have done could have put her in an uncomfortable situation. I have the utmost respect for women and feel terrible that anything I might have done could have put her in an uncomfortable situation. I am sorry, he said. Hoffman said behavior described by writer Anna Graham Hunter in a first-person account for The Hollywood Reporter was not reflective of who I am. Hunter alleged in extracts from her 1985 diary, and notes to her sister, that Hoffman made vulgar remarks and jokes at her expense while she was working as a production assistant on the set of the 1985 TV film Death of a Salesman. He Hoffman was openly flirtatious, he grabbed my ass, he talked about sex to me and in front of me, she wrote. Earlier on Wednesday, the Los Angeles Times reported that six women, including actress Olivia Munn, had made allegations of harassment and unwanted attention against movie director Brett Ratner. Ratner's lawyer vehemently denied their claims. Ratner directed the Rush Hour film series, Red Dragon, X-Men The Last Stand, and Tower Heist. Warner Brothers, which has a first-look deal with Ratner, said in a statement We are aware of the allegations in the LA Times and are reviewing the situation. A number of allegations of sexual harassment and assault have been made in recent months against some prominent Hollywood men, including producer Harvey Weinstein and actor Kevin Spacey, with AAP.